of the thousands of Fords that were made this year, station wagons, this is the only one ever equipped with a four-speed manual gearbox in 67. But they couldn't do a four-speed in here unless the top management signed off on it. And so Lee Iacocca, then head of Ford Motor Company, signed off on it. And the man that purchased this car knew got a phone call and said, we can build that car for you. And, and this is it today. It's, it's an amazing discovery. I'm Tom Cotter. The first car I found, I was 12 years old. I'm 61 years old now and I'm still finding cars. That's a rare car. I, mean, I don't know when the last time I saw one of these. And in this series, you'll see that there are still plenty of cars left. Alex Attard in the suburbs of Detroit. We heard about Alex at a Cars and Coffee event. So we found out where he lived, came over here, and uh, Alex has got a pretty amazing setup here. And we're gonna take a look at what I consider to be an automotive Disneyland for car people. So you can see the, the assortment of cars and memorabilia that Alex has. Pedal cars on the roof, cars inside sheds, cars sitting outside. What kind of car is this one? That's a Pontiac. That's a 1929 Pontiac. A 1929 Durant, 1914 Princess. I like this car. Can you show us the motor? There's a little four-cylinder motor, one, two, three, four spark plugs, and these are pressure relief valves. So you can turn the, turn the engine over, releasing the pressure from the cylinders. Does this motor turn over? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. Okay. You can see the radiator, a wooden firewall, Cow lanterns, and you know these lanterns worked uh, with a with a flame and a and a wick like a camp stove would have. Uh, you'd put probably kerosene in there. A two seater, a little runabout. You can see the convertible top, wooden steering wheel, wooden steering wheel, and wooden wheels. So this was almost like a little sports car back in in the teens. Cute little car. Have you ever had this running? Not yet. No. Mm -hmm. hmm. If I wanted to buy a car like this, what, what would this cost? This car, I would let it go for eight. Eight thousand. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cute. Now you can see what Alex has done here. This is Alex Buggy Works, Buggy Works carriage shop, sawmill. So this is a whole little village here, leading up to what you'll see in a little while. Would you guide us through here? Yes. Do you ever think of having a flea market back here? Well, this is one of the many garages that Alex has, and these are the cars in much better condition. And there's a 1920 uh, Franklin. Now, th this is an amazing car. I mean, look at the front of it compared to the traditional front ends of cars in the day. What year is this, 20? 20, 1920. This is aluminum, and this is, is this air-cooled? Air-cooled engine. Uh -huh. Air-cooled, can you lift that motor? Yes, I can. Look at that motor. So it's a six cylinder, straight six. So this car was truly a different breed. When this car was made, Buicks and Fords were made, whatever, but this was air-cooled, everything else was water-cooled. This was a straight six when most other ones were fours. This had an aluminum body when most other cars were steel. This is a fabulous touring car. You can see you know, the old roof here, uh, but the aluminum body is, doesn't rust. The interior is intact, the gauges. This would be a really neat car to preserve, not to restore. So tell us why this Ford uh, is, is such a, a special car to you? When I came here in this country, here, you know, this is, was my first car to drive and go back to work on it, you know. So show us around this car a little bit. I mean, is, is this, has this been repainted? It's been repainted one time. One time? Yeah. Can you show us on the motor? Yes, I will. 
So what, what size motor is that? 292. 292 Y block. And it looks like a two barrel. Good, good running car? Very good running right car. Right now you can get in and drive it. Right, if you put a battery on it, right? Yep. You can, <laughs> right now, but you have to put a battery on it. Yep. Maybe some fresh gas and everything. Because this car has been sitting in here for almost gosh, 17 years now. Right in this year. Right here, it hasn't location. moved. Yeah. It's original interior car. How many miles are on this? I think last time we've seen about 50, 56, 56,000. I see. Or 57,000. And even though you bought this one new, you're the only owner of this car. Right. You're, you're selling this car as well. Yes. The Haggerty Price Guide lists a 1956 Ford Crown Victoria with a band up here and the 292 engine in fair condition for $15,000, in excellent condition, $33,000, and in concourse condition, $46,000. I would say that this car is not concourse, but it's certainly excellent or above because of the ownership. 60 years of nonstop one owner, original owner, no rust, original interior, one paint job. So most likely this car is worth somewhere in the area of, uh, I'd say 30,000. So Alex charging 20 for it is a deal. So Alex is the second owner of this Thunderbird. He's owned it for at least 45 years. Tell us about the condition of it, Alex. Does it have any rust? This car don't have no rust in there. It needed minor body work. I was gonna get it ready to paint it. You know, and uh, never come to me in there. I got everything for it, you know. And all it needs is a good paint job. I got the new upholstery for it. So you have a new upholstery kit, yep, new seats. New upholstery in it, the seats and everything. <clears throat> I got it, ready to be installed. And it's power steering, power wheel, power windows, power seat, you know, it's all power. Hard top, you have a Hard soft top? top? I, yeah, there's the soft top in behind there, you know. And then mileage on there, let's see what the mileage That's a low mileage car, too. 53,000 miles. That's the original mileage car. In this claim, okay. It's a 292? Yeah. Another 292, okay. And that's a uh, four barrel. So this is a two owner car, which Alex says is rust free. It comes with a new upholstery kit. Do you have new chrome trim for it or anything? I got everything for it. Everything to restore this car. Yeah, the floor you know, that you got missing in there, I got in there because I took them out because I got everything for it. How much are you asking for this one? Listen to this here carefully. Tom asked him what I was for. I'll take 14,000 just the way it is. Just the way it is with the new upholstering and everything. That's a buy. It don't need no body work. Wow. Body is really solid. It's a nice car. If you've been watching the uh, Barn Find Hunter series for a while, you know that this Woody is one of the characters in the program. We drive it all over the country, in California, and Texas, and Florida, and Maine, and now Detroit. But this week, in a, in a heat wave here in Detroit, 95 plus degrees, the electric fan went out. So I made some contacts and got a phone number for a, a street ride shop called Brothers Custom Automotive in Troy, Michigan. And while it was here being fixed, we looked around at some of the cars that they had and there happens to be a couple of barn find cars. Let's take a look. So Bill and Autumn, tell me how you came across these things. It's a pretty cool story. Oh man, um, well, a customer of mine took a liking to one of my cars and he said, my friend has a whole barn full of these up north. And there was this 56 Lincoln, this 56 Lincoln, and one other 56 Lincoln Premier, all inside this barn since 1973. And the barn was falling down. And I just couldn't get them out. There was no way one guy could do it, let alone maybe two. You need some heavy equipment. Now, how much did he want for the three cars? He, we didn't talk about price at that time. Okay. I just said, it's going to be really difficult for me. So three years goes by, and he calls me and says, I need to get those cars moved out. What if I gave them to you? And I'm like, well, now my eyebrows go up. I'll come up and take a look. So he calls me. He goes, I got two of them outside. This was the week I went up. So I went up and I picked up the blue one, which is actually inside the building. And then the following weekend, we went back and got these other two. In fact, we just put air in the tires and they raised up off the ground and they were after, easy to roll. After 40 something years. Yeah. 
So these are premiers, yeah, which is the model. Premiers. So there's a two-door and a four-door. The Haggerty price guide lists a Lincoln Premier. The uh, four-door is about $7,000 in fair condition, and the two-door about $12,000 in fair condition. These cars are beyond fair. I think the fair condition is for a running car, and these haven't been run in decades. No. So they're worth something less than than that for sure. I would probably take around three a piece for them. Three grand a piece? Yeah. Well, okay, so that. So if this were in fair condition, it would be 12, you'd get in two for six. Well, that, that's not a bad, not a bad deal. And, and then they could have you fix it up here yeah, as well. Sure. mini storage complex just outside of Detroit. Lots of people in Detroit need places to put their things. We're gonna go look at a four-wheel thing, a rare four-wheel thing, inside this storage unit right here. Well, if you've watched this show for a while, you know that I love station wagons, and I happen to love Fords as well. This is a barn find 67 Ford Country Squire station wagon. You're probably saying, well, big deal, so what? Well, let's back it out and we'll walk around this car and take a look. So this station wagon has, well, it says 19,300 miles. So I guess you could probably imagine it has 119,300 miles. It's got the optional wood siding. It's got the optional roof rack. It has the power rear window. It has a tailgate that can open sideways or Conventionally, it's got the rear facing seats for the kids to fight back here. Or this folds down and the second seat folds forward and it makes a large cargo area. Okay, what else does this car have? It has power windows, crank out vent windows. There's something that we all miss. It has bucket seats, bucket seats in a wagon. Wow. That's unusual. This is factory. It has a console. This is starting to look like a sports wagon here. Look at the, look at the shift lever. It's got a four-speed transmission from the factory. It has a 428 cubic inch engine. This is one rare car. Power brakes, power steering, air conditioning, every option. This was purchased new by a man in Ohio who wanted to own a hot rod. He wanted to own a Cobra. But his wife needed a station wagon to take care of the family. Go shopping, bring the kids to baseball practice. So he ordered a muscle car version of a station wagon. But they couldn't do a four-speed in here unless the top management signed off on it. And so Lee Iacocca, then head of Ford Motor Company, signed off on it. And the man that purchased this car knew got a phone call and said, we can build that car for you. It's got the Marty report here that verifies all that information. In 1967, 952,553 Fords were built, almost a million. Of that, 48,115 were Country Squire four-door station wagons. Of that, 1,149 came with a 428 cubic inch four barrel engine, but only one came with a four speed manual gearbox. In addition, this is the only station wagon produced by all of Ford Motor Company with a 428 four barrel engine and manual gearbox in 1967. 
and and this is it today. It's it's an amazing discovery. You you could never find another one like this. There are 427 to 428 cubic inch Galaxy sedans. This is the only wagon ever built like this. When I arrived in Detroit, I didn't know of a single barn find car, but by asking questions of mechanics and repair shops and, and going to a Cars and Coffee, just ask people, you know, do you know of any barn finds? What's a barn find? Well, it's an old car. Oh, I know of a guy that's got, and we're this close to Detroit, 10 miles from downtown Detroit. If they're here, they're everywhere. Happy hunting. I'm thrilled. I mean, when I saw this, when I looked right here. <laughs> oh, look at that. And it's original paint. I'm like, there's no way that it's that nice. Yeah. Man. It sure is. I mean, don't mind that, but you know, there's, Look this at is the way you want to get a car like this. So this is the original paint in the door jams. Mm -hmm. Stickers, it's due for an oil change, by the way. <laughs> wow. But the windows, I put power to the, to the battery post and the windows just went down. Isn't that cool? Because they're, they're power and it was up when I got it.